A lot of panels on muscle cars are put together with spot welds, and we showed you some of the factory style welds in a previous blog on our S71 Olds project. And in fact, our man Randy has been using spot welds and a plug weld technique to put in the new trunk floor and the new wheelhouses. And this time, we're going to show you a little demonstration about how you can make these kind of welds using your own equipment. We'll take this couple pieces of scrap here as an example. Say we wanted to weld these together. These are two separate pieces. And we wanted to do this cleanly, like the factory would. Well, a lot of times you would use a, a MIG welder like this, and you would cut a hole or drill a hole in the one panel. And once you have your hole, you'd lay it over, clamp it together, and then draw a circle with your welder, and that would become your plug weld. Well, we learned a couple of tricks to do this a little bit easier. And the first one is um, a tool. Check this out. This is a, uh, a dual purpose tool. This is called a punch and flange tool. We got this one from HTP and it's pneumatic. It's connected to the air hose. When you pull the trigger, it automatically kind of does the work for you. And the first thing we're going to do is use it to flange this panel so that uh, it's going to have a little bend in it. So you can get a good angle there. Ready? You see that? As soon as you punch that trigger, it's putting a nice lip on the piece. Nice and easy. Okay. Now the nice thing about this lip is it, it does a couple things. First of all, it adds rigidity to this piece. It doesn't flex as easy as it did before. Uh, and the second thing is that our new panel will now slip right over that and it's now going to be a flush repair when it's done. Okay, And then we'll show you the trick to cleaning that up to make it look like it never happened. But the other half of this is punching a hole in this piece, which this tool also does. The other side is the punch tool and you just pop it in there again. and it punches these holes in the piece, right? And then all we have to do is lay this over. And uh, I want to keep, keep that alignment right. Take a pair of vice grips. Or, you know, in the car you could uh, sheet metal screw this together if you needed to. So that stayed. Okay. So here you go, you got your panel, it's all clamped together, ready to rock and roll. Now you'll notice on this particular setup, we have kind of an interesting looking tip on our MIG welder here. This has these two points that stand off. This is a spot weld tip for the MIG. Because again, normally you would take your standard tip and draw a circle of weld to fill in that little hole. But we're gonna show you that using this spot weld tip, um, will actually make it a little bit easier to make a, uh, a clean weld inside there. And I'm going to put this in the vise. Right, like that. And we'll fill these last two guys. The only trick to doing this is you have to make sure that your tip is right nice and square over the hole, like that and that your wire is going to come down right inside that hole too. So there's a little bit of work to, uh, to line it up. Of course, that just moved. Okay, so let's give it a shot. There you go. Now, I actually kind of halfway missed on that one. It looks like my wire is not perfectly centered in the hole here, so We'll try the next one and compensate for it a little bit. Okay, there you go. Now, what's such a big deal about that is these pieces are now welded together and you have a very small dome of weld on that piece, which is going to make it very easy to grind and clean up. In fact, just for fun, we can uh, take this off, 
plug our sander in here and I'm going to knock that down. And when it's finished, it's going to look pretty much just like a factory style weld. So we have a, you know, a little small amount of grinding to do and that'll make a nice clean, uh, clean weld. Now it doesn't have the squeeze that a factory spot weld does, but you can see here the penetration is perfect. Those panels are stuck together. So that's one easy way to use um, a wire feed MIG welder to make these kind of welds. Okay, now another way to do uh, a factory style a spot weld, which is an actual electric resistance weld, is with a tool like this. And this is from HTP also. This is a handheld spot welder. And it actually uses a clamp force with these electrodes to make a resistance weld. And it's got the controls here on the side. This is set for, um, for the same size material that we're going to be playing with. We'll take our piece of scrap. All we got to do this time is feed it between here, squeeze it, and it should make a factory style weld, right? Okay, that was it. And we'll do one more. Okay. Now that was a very low drama weld. Nothing, I mean, it just makes a little buzz and it's done. But you can see, if you look at the heat affected zone um, and the penetration when I flip this over, it's identical to what we did over here on the MIG but it was much easier. You know, you just clamp the thing together and it's done. And the other advantage to this is you don't need to punch the holes like you needed to on the MIG welder. You can take two pieces of flat steel. Um, you know, we use this end over here as one more example. There's no hole there. Put it together, pull the trigger, and it's done. And this is cool because this does create the little indentation uh, the same way the factory spot welds do. HTP also sells a bunch of different arms to allow you to spot weld in tight places inside the car. The other fun thing about this is that there's absolutely no grinding now. I mean, once you pinch it together and it burns, it's done. So we use this, uh, Randy used this a lot on the wheel tubs in a lot of areas on the trunk on the olds because it's quick, it's easy, the cleanup is much less, and um, the, the heat level is low and it's isolated so that uh, you don't have a lot of warping. And that's what you want. You don't want to be creating more work for yourself. So uh, we've got a link to this spot weld unit from HCP on our website, and you can learn more about it there. And in the meantime, we're going to be continuing the build on the S71.